Today we're going to look at how to create scene workflows. I'm starting from the main page. So we're going to go to settings and on the settings, we're going to look at workflows. And in the workflow page, you'll see that you've got the option to create a number of different workflows. You can create job workflows, scene workflows, asset workflows or task status workflows. We're going to create a scene workflow. So we're going to click on add, which opens up this window and we're going to give it a name, scene workflow, enter. You can add a description if you'd like. And then we're going to choose the type of workflow that we're creating. In this instance, scene workflow. You can assign a color to this specific workflow. So you click on this here and you choose a color. Let's choose a nice purple tinge, select. Then you can choose to auto create the tasks which is by default ticked in. So you can leave it as it is. Let's add this. When you finish adding, you'll see that you can now create the first stage in your workflow by clicking the plus button. From here, we're going to rename this node, also called stage. We're going to right click on it and we're going to call it, for example, layout, which will be the first stage or node of my workflow. Click enter and it's been renamed. In order to create the next stage, all I need to do is drag a cable from here and release. And that creates my next stage or node. I'm going to also rename it, so right click rename and I'm going to call this animation enter now we're going to create the next node and we're going to make this an approval node so first we're going to do the same drag the cable release right click and name this animation approval and this is the type of stage that requires a supervisor to approve a stage before it can go to the next one. So I'm going to click enter. And then in order to change this to an approval stage, I'm going to go to this drop down menu list over here, go down to approval, and it's changed the geometry of this node to a round one, just to show you that it's a different type of stage. Then we're going to finish, drag, and maybe rename the last one to compositing. And now you've completed the creation of your scene workflow. When you're satisfied with that, you can go and save your workflow by clicking on the save button over here.